the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Ladies, today I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And I wanted to talk to you because I know that over the past couple of years, we have gone through some things. And I know also in going through those things, I know that we have grown. And so we need to be able to do what the Bible tells us to do. He says that the older women are to teach the younger women. And so that's what I inspire to do. Um, I, I want to share some experiences with you as well as looking at some of the women in the Bible to see what we can, you know, glean from their life and how we can apply it to our life so that we get even stronger. Because I know there were some single mothers out there over the past year, you know, trying to keep your family together. I know that there were some married women and some women who were married to preachers and, you know, that were going through so much. So it's time for us to just step back for a minute, you know, re regroup, and go forward in the Lord. And so today I want to invite you to join me in this study. And I know that, um, you know, God has something for us. And if it blesses you or if you have something that you want to say or add to what we're studying, feel free to leave a comment in um, the comment box. And as the women begin to watch the videos, they can be inspired by your story as well. I want you to know, ladies, that God loves you. He's made us strong. He has made us resilient. Hallelujah. Even persistent because we keep going. So come on and go with me as we look into the word the of Bible God. says in Proverbs 31, 30, charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Hallelujah. Lord, let your word go forth in clarity. I pray your anointing would flow. I ask, Lord, that you would speak to your women, Lord. And I pray that I would only say those things, Lord, that you want me to say. For your word, Father, it shall not return void, but it shall accomplish what you have sent it to do. So, Father, I ask that you would lead me by your spirit, even through this message, so that your women would be edified in you, my Lord would be glorified. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of mine heart, Father, let it be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I pray and I ask these things in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Ladies, we live in a world that's full of celebrities, women that have risen to notoriety based on you know, their beauty, their career, and even in some cases, the amount of money that they have. But I want you to know in this text in Proverbs, King Lamel's mother, who some scholars believe was Bathsheba, and you know, this poem was written to Solomon. And if you think about even that for just a second, that would be astonishing, seeing how Bathsheba had, you know, such a humbling beginning. Lamel's mother, whoever she was in this text, she wanted her son to know that a good woman is hard to find as she began to lay out what a virtuous woman looked like. And that's also another message and we'll come back to that one day. But I came today to glean from the text just a little bit and talk about a woman that fears the Lord. See, ladies, the classiest thing that you could do is to honor, respect, reverence, and worship the Lord. See, outward things are going to perish. You know, those things that others might look at and, you know, might be attracted by. But that's going to fade. But the hidden beauty, that's what the Lord sees and rewards. See, when the Lord has a woman that fears him, he'll entrust her with a good husband. For the Lord knows that she will not only take care of her husband, but the house and the kids and even bring in a little money to help out. 
Ladies, the Lord is looking for some women that he can brag about. Those that have trusted him and endured faithfully without complaining. If you are that type of woman in, you know, in this Proverbs 31, know today that God has his eyes on you. He sees all that you do. So therefore be encouraged for you might not be on the cover of the latest magazine, but I want you to know your name is known in heaven and the greatest of all loves you. I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.